gosh. Hello and You're welcome really to our new Williams family vlog. Yeah. This yeah. is travel day. If you're new to the channel, we are mm -hmm. Forever in the Dream. Saturday morning, 16th of March, uh, around about eight o'clock, and uh, we've, st we've stayed overnight in the Block Hotel, and uh, we're getting ready for our flight uh, just before lunch at 11.25. Just looking around at the departure lounge at Gatwick at the moment, um, to see if they've got any plastic spoons. It seems they're all wooden these days. So there's Giraffe while we had food last night. Uh, you've got the um, weather spoons in the background, that seems to be a nice, relaxing place to go. Um, and if I show you around, you've got a couple of little shops before you go through. The WH Smiths. And then our hotel is the Brock Hotel, just there. Which is right next to the uh, security departures. It's also right next to where they've got the family security as well, which we might go through, because we've got quite a lot of stuff to juggle around, so we'll see. And this is where we're staying. Saturday morning, and uh, we're going to be travelling over to visit one of our favourite places, Walt Disney World, with these two who are very excited. What have you found, kids? We found the aeroplane that we're going to go on. It's blue, Ooh, it's white and red. Yeah. Oh, yeah, on the table there. And even we're going on this. Oh my gosh, why is going backwards? They're going backwards? That's not right. Must be a problem with them. <laughs> they're trying to go out <laughs> of their faces. Oh my gosh, look at that. So this is our room. Wow. They're designed to be snug, aren't they? But I'm not sure they're designed for four kids and all your stuff. If we, if we hadn't put our luggage in last night, it definitely would have been quite a squeeze. <laughs> um, but it's for one night, and to be honest, what we paid for it wasn't so bad, so. Yeah. yeah. And, as you'll see in a second, the departure yeah. security area is literally oh, next door. Yeah, it's just, just like the doors. So, I would brilliant. say if you're a nervous flyer, oh, this is probably the right thing for you, actually. Yeah, definitely. So there you and go. And then you can get um, a little oh, bigger room. If you pay a little bit more, get a little bigger room. So oh. to be fair, just because we were coming for the night and staying, it was pretty much mm, not worth the extra. I think it was extra £45 pounds or something, but oh, wow. for us it wasn't worth it. But it's anyway. just the shower area, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of a strange <laughs> one, but, but we can't. we've had showers, so we're fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes you can get a beautiful view like this. Where are we going? <laughs> So the problem with the shower is it's in a tight confined space where uh, once you've had a shower the floor is just soaked but I will give it to them that actually they give you quite a lot of towels here so usually you, you're you're rationing the towels out and this time actually it's been okay but it does mean we have to use them on the floor afterwards to finish off like brush teeth and all that so yeah not completely practical but we'll go with it it's nine o'clock so i think we need to get going through we checked in our bags last night so we don't have to do all that so it is literally just a case of going through security yeah picking up a few things on the way through yeah there we go so let's take you on our journey we've got through security and we find ourselves in an area just where the toilets are, which is always good for little people. 
and um, yeah, it's just a case of waiting now. Um, Mummy says she's seen our flight on the on the board, so that's all good. Everything's going the right way. Gone through the family security area, and it's a lot more easier than it was because um, you don't have to empty your liquids; so they will do that for you. Um, so it's just a case of you have to have all the buggies out and then they can push the buggies through and then we walk through. Daddy being daddy, I mean, I'm quite a frequent, or was a frequent flyer and um, I'd just walk through those um, scanners, the metal, metal detectors, and this time Harvey went through. You needed to be checked, didn't you? I think they just liked your cool hat. Um, but daddy had his mobile and his wallet in, <laughs> in his pocket. So I had to go through with them as well, which isn't a bad thing. So actually, yes, if you want to stay with your children when they get um, a body scan, maybe it's worth just putting something in your pocket so you do get scanned. Because <laughs> that meant I could stay with you then, didn't it? But they, I must admit, they were very friendly, weren't they? They were a friendly bunch. Even though they're doing security, doing a very important job keeping us safe, they were still human beings to us, which is lovely. So yeah, now it's just a case of waiting um, for our flight to come up on the board and we can go to our game and see what our plane looks like. Yeah! We'll catch you in a bit. We know our plane. Oh, do you? All right, we'll see, won't we? We'll we will see. see. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> Daddy can quick. We want to say a big thank you to Mummy for booking this holiday for us. Yeah. We're going to be out in Disney World for two weeks and it's all because of Mummy. So... You are our absolute rock to be able to do this pretty much on your own. Because this was even a secret to me until about six months back when she, she felt she had to tell me. Um, so, yes, we are, we are very, very appreciative of Mummy. So what do we say? Thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Mummy, for letting us join this holiday. <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> Are you excited, dude? Yes. So, could you get any more lazy? You, you, you're in a buggy and on an escalator. Hello. Have you all in your seats? Yeah. Chloe, ask the view where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah, yeah, Harvey, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Right, so we're on the plane now. I'm not going to do much filming here because it's quite a busy flight. Uh, I want to stay um, respectful of others. So, uh, but I just wanted to show you something quick on the screen here on this new BA flight. So, the screen's just as the same as normal, but we have two jack points in, which means you can have two of you watching the same movie, which is quite cool. Are we getting on, Harvey? Yeah.
just so you know, we're watching Trolls 3 twice. <laughs> And they've offered for us to take kids up to the cockpit and find her some photos. So we really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone today. I'm with you. Yeah, have a good So we've just had a really nice chat with the um, air stewardesses, and they saw uh, Harvey and Chloe being attentive to the children, you could say. Um, so they've invited them up to the um, the cockpit. So probably, probably won't be able to. Probably won't be able to film. It's where the pilots are doing. Where they fly the plane. Um, oh really? Yeah, but um, they were I didn't really, notice. good, I, yeah. really great. And um, shout out to Adam, who was yeah. learning kind of business <laughs> first class. Who got uh, our little kids to uh, sit in the pilot seat. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Actually, the pilots were very accommodating yeah. as well, weren't they? Yeah, super. But if yeah, if you're not in a rush and you have kids that want to <laughs> talk to the pilots, then they they will do that for you. Um, if you ask nicely, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and now we're going to go to the news cabin and see what's going on. Yeah, apparently we're picking up baggage first and then going through the immigration. One thing we need to know is uh, the walk to baggage claim is quite wild. Finally arrived at Disney's Pop Century Resort. Everything has just arrived and we are getting checked in at the front desk. I am very, very relieved. It's been a very long journey. Uh, we're gonna be staying here for two weeks. And um, yeah, we're gonna be staying on site for two weeks as well. So, super be dressed kids for the occasion. It's very late. It's now uh, 7 o'clock US time and uh, obviously that makes it four hours later at the moment. So it's a four hour difference, which means it's 11 o'clock and they are still up. So um, yeah, wow. They're still going. So we want to keep them going a little bit longer, but yeah, they've done very well for this trip. Well done, Abby. The, uh, the 
lift taxi was really easy. It was just a case of saying we wanted an XL taxi and they told us what the car would be, who the guy would be and a tracker to show you where they are as well. So I recommend the lift app for that. Um, so yeah, it was ever so easy and well, we've done it. We've done it, we're here, that's it. <sighs> Come on our journey to Pop Century. You got your bum bag? Right, careful, you're gonna get yourself run over. <laughs> what we got in here? Look, it's Tiana. Oh wow, little pictures on the wall. Is this Disney stuff? This doesn't look like Disney stuff. <laughs> now that's very clever. That may look like the TV is plugged into the wall, but you'll see it's just very well done. <laughs> that's amazing. This is the kids zone. <laughs> As you enter, there's a recreational activities board just here. It says scan the QR code for more information. So we've got a character hunt, fast forward arcade, poolside activities, Mickey tie dye, marble painting, groovy campfire. So there's, yeah, there's loads going on. Oh, I can hold your bag? Yeah, all right, I'll hold your bag. There you go. And as you get in, they've got a load of Disney music going for you. Just like we do at home. <laughs> We've just arrived. What do we want to say to Mummy for this? Thank you. Thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Mummy. Don't say too loud. She might hear you. She's over there. She's doing the check-in at the moment. But she sent us over here to get out of the way because it's quite nice bringing kids around to this area, really. But it's nice and colourful and they're enjoying it. Are you enjoying it already? You've got a little bit more energy now, have you? <laughs> yes, we want to say thank you, Mummy. It's amazing that we're here and we couldn't have done it with, without all your efforts that you go through to get these things. So, yes. Love you very much. So we are in the 70s section, which is quite near the Skyliner, but not too close. And it's also right near the main pool, but not on the main pool. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's what we what we ordered really, because we don't want it too, too loud. We know it's going to be busy and it's not going to be hard to get the kids to sleep, but being near the skyline is pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, this is quite cool. Uh, <laughs> maybe quite a bit. Yes. <laughs> Where are we? This way. Okay. Coming through. Groove Town 70s. I wasn't born in the 70s. What are you doing to me? <laughs> wow. Oh, look, squirrel. Hey, squirrel. All this stuff that you only ever see on videos. <gasps> Massive Mickey. Goodness me. That is a big so we've arrived at our room. We are, yes, we are in the 70s 
area. I wasn't born in the 70s, but we have a really nice room on the quiet side of the uh, block and we are room 6264. Let's go have a look. Here we go. Okay, oh wow. So the aircon hits you straight away. Uh, so this is our room. It's a, uh, a family room, so it will have two doubles. It's got the double there and the pull down bed there. Uh, on this side, we've got the cabinets. Wow. Oh, look at that. Welcome Williams family. Lovely. And uh, yeah, you've got plenty of drawer space. Covered space as well with a safe in there and some extra pillows. Come around to the main bedside. You've got lots of plugs. You've now got USB plugs and uh, the US sockets there as well. You are lovely Mickey, Mickey sign at the top, which is just, just right. Just a little bit of Mickey, not just in your face kind of thing. And then more sockets on that side for your side. As you come in, you've got your aircon control there. We've got the coffee machine, Quiznart. Uh, and then we've got all your coffees and some Walt Disney's Joffrey's coffees as well. Perfect. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, very good. And you've got now an open space for the fridge. Now, I really like this because in the past, it's always been behind a cupboard, which didn't make any sense. What's, what's in this drawer? Oh, uh, I guess that's just to put more um, coffee stuff in or when you're, you're making it up. But it also comes with the uh, coffee mugs as well. If we move around to the other side of the room, I'll show you the pull down bed later. We've got some room for your uh, room for your cases here. And then we've got some hangers as well. And then a pull across door for the bathroom. Right, where's the light switch for this one? Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Wow, this is quite a big space. So, on this side, we've got lots of covered space again for hanging up stuff. Uh, ironing board, comes with ironing board. Does it come with an iron as well? Yes, it does. And it's got a hairdryer as well, just so you know. Just a, a, a large single sink, but it has some of the um, Disney soap as well. You've got your vanity mirror on the side. Got me, hello. <laughs> Uh, right, got more light switches this way. Um, right, how many towels have we got in here? So we do have enough towels. Here's your toilet. And then this looks actually like quite a large shower. Looking at it. Yeah, this is, this is quite a nice size. So it's got two different showers on it. You've got the rainfall at the top and then you've got a side shower that you can use. And it comes with all the Disney washing soaps as well. I must admit, they're looking a bit weathered, I must admit. But they're there for your use. It saves you having to bring your stuff if you know not to bring it. And this acts as a separate room. So I quite like that being separate so that you, you're not bound to take up the whole of the bathroom, which is really good. So you can just pull that across and have it all separate. Ah, the other thing to note is the Alexa style Disney, which we'll try out later. <gasps> You've seen in here already, haven't you, Mummy? Kids, are you ready to see? What does it say? What does it say? Well done, Harvey, yeah. Sorry, mate. Who is the Williams family? We've got a bit of a problem. There's only one bed. Have you noticed that? Bed. Yes. Oh. Chloe, are you ready? I'm just going to do this single-handedly. <gasps> what are you doing to the table? Oh. Oh. What's that? Wow. Look. Who is that? <laughs> Who is it? Yeah. Who is it? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 What is this bed? This is a tool. Jump, jump, jump. How big is that? It's 
so we can hide it away in the day. Was that easy? Table. Was that easy to do? So easy, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the beds, the mattresses are massive. It looks so comfortable. Yeah. That you know. So what size are these beds? Do uh, we know? King, I think. King size think bed? So. Mama, wow. Mama, I want you to sleep with me tonight. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Right then. So I'm really impressed with the room. It's super clean. Um, looks lovely. It's lovely. Really it's just not in your face, I think. No, it's really nice. It's perfect. Yeah, and I think that now we've got two bouncy yeah. around children yeah. <laughs> that yeah. actually are quite yeah. tired, but we need some food. I don't know that yet. Yeah, we're going to get some food. Yeah. So I've just uh, dropped off the trolley back at the front. Um, now we're going to go get some food. Uh, I think Mummy's just gone to see if she can buy the the iconic bottle flask, and we're off. So, coming into the shops and the dining area. And Mummy's already got one. What's this? What's this? What have you got? One for Daddy. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. <laughs> So we've opted for the pepperoni family style pizza to try and get us through. Chloe, what pizza is it? Is it pepperoni? Is it pepperoni? Yeah, it's Chloe. You looking forward to the pepperoni pizza? And are you looking forward to it? Yes. Yummy for your tummy. Yeah. And you? Uh, I think we're a little bit tired of here. <laughs> first look at the Disney Skyliner. Now boarding to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, transfers to Disney Hollywood Studios and Riviera Resort and Epcot. I'm not actually going out there tonight, but it's always good to be able to take a look at it all. Here we go, here's a little map showing you the area we're in. Uh, so, 80s over there, 90s there, 60s there, and 70s is that one. So we're just about, whoop, right about there. <laughs> and that's where the skyline is, so it's really not far. Let's see if we can get a good view of the skyline is running. They're actually, it's interesting, they seem to all be in the dark. I thought they'd all be lit up. Uh, no, they're not. It's just the actual um, loading bay that's lit up. The rest of it seems to be pretty dark. You can't see it from this camera video because it's actually, the exposure's quite high. But it does look beautiful. So I'm hoping we'll get our first proper view of loading a Skyliner from a Disney hotel resort tomorrow at some point. We're going to be pretty chilled out though, we're going to take it easy. Um, so for now, I think we'll call it a night. Um, it's been a very, very long trip and it's, it's pretty amazing that we're here because there's been so much going on that made us think actually we might not be coming, but we are now here. Nine o'clock in the evening, the kids have gone to bed uh, and we won't be far behind them now because we must be flagging. I don't, I don't feel that, that tired, but we must be flagging now. So uh, yeah, now I'm gonna go back to the room, say goodnight to everyone and we will see you tomorrow for our first Disney day. That's a wrap.